Well, Florida Power and Light wants to create what it says would be the largest community solar program in the entire world. Yeah, so that means if you don't have the ability to put solar panels in your house, you still could tap into solar energy from a solar field. Jessica Clark is on your side tonight explaining how this could affect your electricity bill. Most people who use solar power in Florida have solar panels on their roofs, but... But for those that don't have a good roof, uh, have a lot of shading, um, perhaps it's a large upfront cost. It's a very attractive idea to uh, subscribe to a community solar program. A community solar program enables people to plug into energy from solar fields instead of solar panels on their homes or businesses. FPL aims to create the biggest utility run solar community program in the nation by building 20 solar farms in Florida. Customers can subscribe for any amount of solar gener generated um, they want from one kilowatt up to a hundred percent of their annual power use. FPL says you would first be charged monthly for the subscription, so your bill would increase slightly. And then you will also receive a credit on your on your bill for the amount of solar that was generated at a large solar farm. FPL estimates that your credits would exceed your participation cost in three to five years. Correct. Okay. about three to five years to see a decrease in your bill. Okay. And keep in mind, you can also take that subscription with you. So uh, should you move, you'll still be able to benefit from the program. Angela Damonbrin with the nonprofit Solar United Neighbors urges you to investigate before subscribing with any community solar program. What is my direct benefit? Is my bill going to be lower in the end? So how much would you pay to participate in FBL's new solar community? It's really too easy, it's too early for me to get into those kinds of details. Okay. Um, the program is now being filed with the Public Service Commission. FBL says there will be cost savings eventually by tapping into its solar fields, but right now the exact savings is unknown. That was Jessica Clark, and again, the program still has to be approved by the Public Service Commission, and you cannot enroll until then. But if you are interested, you can sign up for updates on the FPL website. We're going to put a link to that story on firstcoastnews.com.